Oh, hey, you guys are a little bit early. Video hasn't started yet. But if you want a quick peek behind the scenes of how we do our designs, stick around and uh, we'll show you what we do. We're starting with an 18 inch round. Kim's got an idea. I'm just gonna lay it down and give her some space to draw. <laughs> yeah, this is what you told me. I could draw it right here. Show, show, them, show them what I'm looking for. So hopefully the other cameras are gonna catch this. So for this week's video, we thought we'd step out of the sublimation a little bit, do something different because it's been a couple of weeks and um, I have a new idea for a round. Each week when we create a new project, we typically pin it on Pinterest. And one of the things that gets pinned multiple times a day, so many times, are these little houses we did last year. Um, and what was it? Welcome to our beautiful chaos, stay a while that get, gets yeah. pinned so much. So I thought that was my inspiration for this week's videos is those little houses. And I actually have two ideas. And this week we're gonna do a door round. Next week we're gonna do like a home accent standing houses. So for this week, I'm gonna show Garrett what I'm thinking. I found, so as usual, I say it all the time, I was out there surfing on Pinterest and found some inspiration for what I want to do. I was actually looking at tiny houses and I actually found um, a post from art.com that's the inspiration for this for this door round. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this up for you, right. okay? Good, draw it so, up for me, babe. It is not to scale, so just bear with me here. I think we're gonna do a little house here He's going to have two roofs. Double roofs. But not double sides. Just two roofs like this and then the hole and the hole and maybe a little post. And then a taller one. But this one, the sides can kind of come in like this a little bit. You see like a more traditional yeah. house? Mm -hmm. Can we do that? And I like the little heart cut out and the post. And then this is a little short guy. He's got a shorty in the middle. Yep. And he's going to be like this. And he actually has a double roof too. Um, but he actually has the little short house on the inside with a little door. And I'm thinking maybe even a door. So oh, this yeah. one's a this one's a window. Maybe this one gets like a maybe this one gets like a little door somehow. Maybe it doesn't have a thing right here. This is what I do to Garrett all the time. Is I'm like, you see what I'm doing here? Now you make it better. <laughs> and then this little guy, he's more, he's a little more of a wider house. But this one's actually got a picket fence. Oh, okay. Uh, so I want a little picket fence out front of this one. Now I can't draw, so Garrett just has to wing it with whatever I, <laughs> he has to figure it out. I thought that was cute here. And I actually like the little rooftop on this one. Did you see how it was done here? Just a little slat across the top there. And then this one, back to a tall one. And then I like, this is like a little shelf or something right here. We just have to put a little piece of, a little strip. And then I like how there's a star around the outside of the hole on this one. See that? Mm -hmm. And then this will just say... A regular welcome? Just a welcome. And then on a shiplap. Now that I'm debating, so that, that picture, it. fancy welcome. And then um, that has a, that's actually set on a vertical shiplap background. Okay. And I, and I know we have a shiplap round. That's not one of them. But should I do it in vertical or just do it in horizontal? Because these can kind of sit on a line. Is this all one thing or each of these separate? Um, I don't care. If that could go either way, whatever ends up being easier for you. Alright. And then they all have bases. Oh, they all have bases, okay. I think, yeah. I think you're going to need that There's to kind of ground them. Um, yeah, like, like that. that. Alright. Cute, right? That's going to be so cute. Looks cute. Let me take a picture. Now I'm going to bring it into Illustrator. I'm going to make this a, a real sign. <laughs> like like Geppetto. I'm a modern day Geppetto. I'm going to import Kim's drawing and put it on the bottom layer and I'm going to lock that layer. I'm just using shapes and the line tool and then I'm going to outline all of my strokes later on. But as I build each house, I put it on its own layer so that I don't mess that house up when I'm building the next house. 
line it all up, make sure it looks good, ungroup everything. That way I can give it a drop shadow to give it some depth. We'll export it as a GIF and let's go show the boss. All right, what do you think? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That's perfect. Nope. All right, now I'm gonna go make this a cut file. Lose the drop shadow, copy some shapes to make accents, merge some shapes to make bases, separate the accent pieces from the base pieces, drop the fill, give them a red cut stroke or a blue score stroke, export as an SVG. Import that SVG into the Glowforge app and prep it to start making your first test cut. We're gonna use cardboard first. I'm gonna use this pizza box for our test cut so that I don't waste any MDF. Wood is expensive right now. Crazy yeah. expensive. Can't be testing it on real wood. The pizza box is 1 8 inch thick or 0.125. And then my cardboard cut settings are 180 speed, 60 power. And then my score settings are 500 speed, 60 power. I really just cranked up the speed. All right, let's do our first test cut. During the test cut, I noticed that it cut the fence and one of the bird holes two times. So I'm gonna need to clean up that file before our final cut. All right, test cut. This is what it, this is what it looks like on the vertical. Yeah, I mean, unless we can find a way to make it look like reclaimed wood, I say regular shiplap, and then I could paint it. I could paint it like... We could engrave it, but that would take a long time. I could paint it whoop to do. Oh, no, 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 yeah. That would take too long. So we'll just go horizontal. Yeah. It's easier to line up anyway. Little houses sitting on that. Sit on that line. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Test cut. <laughs> Alright, so we've done all of our prep work. We think we're ready to begin the project. So we have our little cardboard cutout. Looks so cute. We have the basic idea of what it is that we're gonna do. I have a basic idea of paints. So now we begin changed. the project. All right, ready to start filming? Are you I'm ready? Jeez. <laughs> I'm ready. My hat's straight. Yep. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it below to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. Uh, this week, we gave you a peek behind the scenes. Yep. And we're looking for some new designs for the farmer's market. So we're going to test cut that today. We're going to put it together, see what you guys think. Take it to the farmer's market on Saturday, see how it does. <laughs> Ooh, showcase. Two days. <laughs> Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We really just needed some MDF, some glue, and our trusty country sheet paints. That's right. And some, and some daubers. Little finger daubers. Makeup sponges. Yeah, yeah. Things to smear the paint around with. <laughs> and that is it. Step two. We're going to make all of our cuts. I'm going to bring this MDF over to the Glowforge and cut it out. This is quarter inch MDF. We're going to cut out the design that we already tested on the cardboard. We're going to mask our MDF. Throw it in there. We're going to use the pass through to do our 18 inch round and score our Fake shiplap marks. That was actually harder to say. Fake, fake shiplap. Try it. Fake shiplap. Okay, maybe it's not. It's not. <laughs> fake shiplap just comes natural to anybody. Masking the boards prevents the scorching on the edges. 
Then for quarter inch MDF, I just use the thick draft board settings and it cuts and scores beautifully. If this was not a cursive welcome, and we actually did a little piece of weathered wood right there, oh. and wrote welcome on it. Do you want me to go do that? I could do that real quick. Will yeah. You, while you're painting, I can go. Yeah, let me do that, that on film and say, all right, I've you changed are, my mind. You are on film. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> let's do it. No, let's, let's do it for real. So am I going to make a plank like that? After I start painting. Okay, you're going to start painting. All right, do step three. All right. <laughs> <laughs> step three, change your mind halfway through. <laughs> I mean... New paint. inspiration. <laughs> step three, paint. All right, so... We decided that we're gonna change this welcome. Kim now thinks it's boring. It, it does look boring. boring. Blase. And she wants like a fake plank <laughs> with wood grain and the word welcome. Isn't that gonna so, be cute? I'm gonna go it's back to my inspiration photo. I'm gonna do that and she's gonna paint. So I'm gonna go figure out how to make that, then cut it and I'll, I'll be back. Well, she paints. Well, you gotta come and help me paint. So, <laughs> hurry up. Um. So engraving it would take 50 minutes and scoring it would take 15. So I'm just gonna score and paint it. remove the masking where I want the grain to be dark then I'm gonna paint it black then I'm gonna remove the rest of the masking I'm gonna paint the whole thing white kind of like a whitewash step four oh, now we assemble it we're gonna use this glue this uh, star bond medium it's a gel it works great you got like 15 seconds to work with it though so, let's go. So here's our weathered board. He did a great job, you know, making those ends look all weathered and what? Aged, broken. I guess. Broken age. It's like washed up on shore. So I'm excited. This is exactly what I wanted. And now we have the exits. It's <laughs> really just some ribbon and a bow. We're gonna throw it through the slots, tie in some knots, and then put the bow on. Not used to doing it up in the air like that. <laughs> Alright, which side? Yeah, left side. Left side. And here we go. Done and done. Alright, what do you think? Does it look like a piece of real driftwood up top? Yeah. I mean, pretty close, right? Well, and I think that really brings it together. At least it matches my inspiration photo anyway. I think it's really cute. It is. I was it looking looks for a something. Lot like you're drawing. 
Yeah. Brought your drawing to life. <laughs> I was looking for something that would take us from 4th of July to fall and there's I don't that, know, I guess this one's kind of beachy still, there's but... That, there's that gap in like late July, August where there's no like holiday. What are you gonna do? You do some little tiny houses, little bird houses. Well, I guess, huh? wait till we do this with a Christmas theme. So oh, I've yeah. already got plans, mm. Ooh, and we don't Christmas need the driftwood. Theme. We could go back to like a red fancy script welcome, uh -huh. and then do these as like little gingerbread houses. Oh, yeah. oh I, I feel the juices flowing. <laughs> Big thanks to our patrons. You guys are awesome. We love you guys. I love chatting with you guys. I love it when you interact with us. Yep. It's fun. You guys have a lot of great ideas too. Thanks. And uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed those SVGs last week. I see a lot of you guys cut them out. Awesome. Thank you. It looks like we're about out of time. So if I'm not going to see you in the patron after show, then I will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, make it again. Finally, something that's solid. Oh, and I can balance thank goodness! It. You got yeah. something to balance and break. Ooh, ooh, I won't break it. Ooh, I won't break it. I'm worried that birds might try to fly in there. <laughs> it's like a roadrunner situation. <laughs> All right, that was it. That, that's how we do it. So uh, <laughs> that was a total behind the scenes, and we'll see you next week.